All right. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Nashville Christian School for tonight's contest on the hardwood between Nashville Christian and Donaldson Christian Academy. It's Coach Jeff Brothers starting off the broadcast tonight. Coach McPherson is going to be a little bit delayed, so he asked me to stand in, so I'm happy to do so. we got about 20 seconds or so until the, the national anthem and the opening prayer and the starting lineups, which we'll get to you. We're looking forward to a great night of basketball on this chilly January evening. I'll be flying solo until Coach McPherson gets here at some point. A region, excuse me, a district contest tonight between the Eagles and the Wildcats. Go ahead and tell you the starting lineups for DCA will be number two, Anaya Dawson, number four, Haley Montez, number 21, Audrey Coulter, number 22, Madison McHenry, number 23, Bailey Shepard. Now we're getting ready to start with the prayer and the anthem, so I'll take a break until we can come back. All right, and there's our national anthem. So once again, welcome back to the hard court here at Nashville Christian School. Again, the starting lineups being announced right now. That's number two, Anaya Dawson from Donaldson Christian. Number four, Haley Montez. Number 21 is going to be Audrey Coulter. Number 22 going to be Madison McHenry. And number 23 is going to be Bailey Shepard. And now, the starting lineups for your Lady Eagles. And here come the Lady Eagles of Nashville Christian. 
It's going to be number 10, Aniston Allgood. Hannah Johnson, number 14, senior guard. Anna Pierce, senior forward. Number 20, Reagan Locke, also a guard. And Anadia Hinton going to round out the starting lineups for the Nashville Christian Lady Eagles. Coach Van Atta, Gary Van Atta in his first year coaching the Lady Eagles at Nashville Christian, going to be assisted tonight by a very special assistant coach, fourth grader Ellis Drake. Going to see him as the camera pans past the bench, sitting there next to Coach Mariah King. Excited for Ellis to be on the bench tonight. Lend his expertise. Anna Pierce going to be in the center circle to jump for the ball here for the Lady Eagles of Nashville Christian. So again, it's going to be all good Pierce, Johnson, Locke, and Hinton. Very important district game here. Two good basketball teams looking forward to it. Again, flying solo until Coach McPherson returns. Tip controlled by Donaldson Christian. It'll be Montez bringing the ball up the floor. Lady Eagles playing a man-to-man -man defense, as is generally our staple to start the games. A little high-motion offense from the Wildcats, or the Lady Wildcats of Donaldson Christian. Dribble penetration, that shot is blocked by Anna Pierce. That was Anaya Dawson trying to get the left-handed layup, and Anna Pierce elevated and stuffed it. So Reagan Lock out front for the Lady Eagles, DCA in a 2-3 zone. Swinging the ball around the perimeter, making the defense rotate, and Reagan overthrows Hannah for the first turnover of the evening for the Lady Eagles. It's going to be important that we get shots out of our possessions. DCA is going to play good defensive. You know, that zone defense is going to force us to move the ball around and be patient, work for open shots. We can't turn the ball over. Got to be efficient on the offensive end. There's Hannah, I mean, excuse me, Anna Pierce knocking the ball away again and out of bounds to Donaldson Christian. And did a good job getting a hand in the passing lane there. Knocked the ball away from Donaldson Christian, and now they push it down the floor again. And another takeaway. So. A game of turnover so far early in the going. Anadia Hinton up for the layup, no good. Rebound, Aniston all good. And she puts it back home for the first points. Don Nashville Christian leads 2-0 over Donaldson Christian. That's going to be on Anadia, number 52, her first foul. That's for Christian Lady Eagles again in the man-to-man -man defense. Nadia guarding the ball out on the perimeter. Shot fake by Coulter and penetration now kicked back out. Another drive penetration layup too strong. All good with the rebound. Brings the ball down the floor herself across the timeline. And now we'll set the offense with Hannah Johnson out front. Again, the 2-3 zone from the Lady Wildcats. All good at the high post. And appears to run in the baseline. They call Anadia for a travel violation. Shuffled her feet. I think she changed her mind on that pass and tried to reset her feet, but was called for traveling. Some full court man-to-man -man now applied by the Lady Eagles, falling back into their man-to-man -man defense. A little hesitation move and shot goes up and a whistle foul called. If that's a Nadia, that's going to be her second. It will be indeed a Nadia's second foul. So we'll get a quick substitution. Addison Humes is going to be coming into the game after the first free throw attempt by number four, Haley Montez, for the Lady Wildcats. It's up and good. Two to one. 
So not necessarily a frenetic scoring pace here in the early going. A lot of action nonetheless. Montez is going to take her second attempt. It's going to be long off the back iron. Anna Pierce got out fought for the rebound by Madison McHenry, but blocked the ball out of bounds underneath. So it's going to be Lady Eagle, uh, excuse me, Lady Wildcat basketball underneath their own goal. I don't think you can take a step like that. Ball tapped away by Allgood, back into the hands of Anaya Dawson, and then Montez will set the ball back again. Ball pressure, Addison Allgood, Reagan Locke now, defending the ball up top, got a cutter. Three second violation gonna be called against McHenry, gonna turn the ball over. So Lady Eagle defense doing a good job of forcing turnovers. Here in the early going, two to one. Five minutes and 15 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Humes into the game for Anadia after she picked up her second foul. Got it to all good in the high post. And appears to run in the baseline back and forth. Gonna look like we're trying to get a high low feed there. Gonna be a foul called on the ball against 21, Audrey Coulter. Her first team second. All good inbounds to Humes at the top. The offensive set again, the 2-3. We're going to move the ball around the top again with a high-low look with All Good at the elbow or running the free throw line. And appears on the baseline going short corner, short corner. All good. Excuse me. Addison Humes throws the ball away, and DCA brings it into the front court. Two to one. See if we can't continue the defensive pressure and force another turnover here. Dawson. Three-point shot, no good. McHenry almost got the rebound, but Anna Pierce knocked it away and off of McHenry, so it's going to be Lady Eagle basketball. So good job on the defensive end right there, forcing a, a long shot that was off. And the Lady Eagles will again press it into the front court. 4.22 remaining in the first quarter, low-scoring contest so far here on Sawyer Brown Road. And that turnover... Hannah Johnson throws it away and then steals it back. So some good aggressive defense after the turnover to make up for her mistake. And we'll reset again. Teams on the wing, still looking, trying to get the cross-court diagonal pass to Pierce down on the short block, the far block, excuse me. Teams drives baseline, puts a shot up, no good. All good rebound, shot good. Four to one, all four points for Aniston Allgood. Ball down the floor by Dawson, over to McHenry. Shot up, no good, but foul is going to be called on Anna Pierce, her first. McHenry's going to go to the line shooting two shots. Four to one the score right now with three and a half to go in the first quarter. McHenry first shot up and is good. Cuts the lead in half, if you will, at four to two. Second shot will be up, also good. Lady Eagles into the front court against this 2-3 zone from the Lady Wildcats. Reagan Locke at the top and Addison Humes on the left wing. Anna Johnson on the right wing now, Anna Pierce at the free throw line, and Anderson going to work from block to block down low. Ball batted away that time again by Audrey Coulter, and at the high post, swings it wide to Anderson, um, excuse me, Addison Hume's shot was up and no good. Quickly into the front court comes the Lady Wildcats, and a double no. She double dribbled, she walked at least, if not double dribbled. But the Lady Wildcats take it out on the sideline inbounds in front of the Lady Eagle bench. Montez at the top of the key, operating the offense for the Wildcats. And a takeaway by Reagan Locke again, and then a handoff to Anderson Allgood, who comes down the court, left-handed layup up and good. Great job by Reagan, good awareness of where Aniston was, and Aniston ready to push the ball down the floor and create the transition bucket. 
cross court diagonal pass to McHenry. And then Addison Humes hustling down the floor on defense gets the takeaway as well. Pace is quickened a little bit. Six to three. Lady Eagles on top with 224 left in the first quarter. Pretty nice crowd here tonight for a Tuesday night basketball game in the cold weather. Hannah Johnson for three, no good. Rebound fought for and gathered in by the Lady Eagles. We'll reset the offense up to top. That three-point shot by Hannah Johnson was good. Three-pointers extend the lead nine to three for the Lady Eagles. Great shot by Hannah out there on the wing. Another little slide step right there. Dri dribble penetration. Pass off to McHenry. Dawson shot three-pointer off short. Going to be no good. McHenry with the rebound. Put back is good. Nine-five. Lady Eagles ahead with them just under a minute to half, under 90 seconds to go in this first quarter. Same defensive look from the Donaldson Christian Academy girls. The 2-3 zone, that's Anna Pierce now in the short corner, and a skip pass all the way over to Hannah. Another three-point shot up. It's going to be long, no good. Rebound McHenry. Some good open looks for the Lady Eagles here so far in the first quarter. Some of them have fallen, some have not. A 9-5 to five lead with just over a minute to go and a 30-second timeout taken by Donaldson Christian. So a good first half of action for our Lady Eagles. Great, really good job on the defensive end, forcing turnovers, really hustling to get some loose balls, creating a couple of transition baskets, hit a three-pointer, hit some uh, layup opportunities, uh, not giving Donaldson Christian second chance opportunities. That's important. Making sure that there are no, that, you know, at best, Donaldson Christian gets a shot, and if it's off, we get the rebound and turn it into an offensive break. 30-second timeout has expired, and the ball will be taken inbounds just in front of the DCA bench. That'll be Bailey Shepard inbounding the ball for the Wildcats. One minute to go, first quarter. New player in the game for Donaldson Christian. That's number 11, Emma Sanders. Also in the game for Donaldson Christian, Mia Johnson, number 12. Sanders to Johnson, aforementioned, and she lost the ball down. And a scramble for the loose ball will be a tie ball situation. That possession goes to Nashville Christian. Same lineup for the Lady Eagles that went into the timeout. Addison Humes, Reagan Locke, Aniston Allgood, Hannah Johnson, and Anna Pierce. That's Johnson on the right wing. Skip pass over to Reagan. Reversed it back to Aniston Allgood. Against this 2-3 to want to get them moving, get them out of position, create an open lane to penetrate or an open three. There's That's good, good rotation of the ball into the corner to Addison Humes. Tried to hit Anna Pierce on the block and the ball was tipped out of bounds. It'll be a baseline inbounds for the Lady Eagles with 17 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Ball thrown away, tapped away that time by Shepard. Looks like DCA will set up for the last shot of the quarter, trailing nine to five. Montez pushing off there, getting a little bit out of control and just kind of flailing around, draws the foul from Hannah Johnson. And we'll go to the free throw line shooting two. And his first foul. Team's fifth of the quarter, but the quarter expires in three seconds, and the fouls are reset. Montez's first shot is up and no good. Second shot is good. Two seconds, one second. Not going to get a shot off. Before the quarter expires, 9-6, to six, Lady Eagles lead. The Wildcats of Donaldson Christian here at home, 9-6 to six after one quarter. Six points from Anderson Allgood, three-pointer by Hannah Johnson accounts for all nine of Nashville Christian's Lady Eagle tallies this quarter. 
and Donaldson Christian, Madison, Madison McHenry, freshman post, has four points, two free throws and one field goal. And then Haley Montez with two free throws for six points for DCA. I believe it's elementary night here at Nashville Christian School, so you'll see but perhaps on the film a lot of white t-shirts for Nashville Christian basketball say so it's great to be an eagle on the back. First horn sounds. Coach Venata keeping the team in as long as possible to get some last second instruction before sending them back out onto the floor. <coughs> Excuse me. After the late tie ball situation in the first quarter, it's going to be possession to Donaldson Christian. Donaldson to Montez as they set the floor. Now 1 2 2. So coming out of the quarter, starting a new possession, Nashville Christian employs a 1 2 2. Half-court trap defense and forces the turnover. Aniston Allgood taps it away. Hannah Johnson into the front court. Great job that time. Great coaching by changing up the look, changing the strategy that DCA was trying to use and then forcing that turnover on that 1-2-2 half-court trap. DCA still in the 2-3 zone. And the Lady Eagles content to rotate the ball around the top of the zone, which is a good thing to do to, again, try to get the Defensive players out of rotation. That time just forced it into Aniston Allgood in the high post. It was tapped away. Dawson in the front court. Anna Pierce hustling down behind the play. Taps the ball away. Another turnover. So a, a game of turnovers really on both ends of the floor. Don't know if you would call that good defense or bad offense. All good against the top of the key there on the feed. Turns, looks, and that ball is a high situation and it's going to be Lady Eagles basketball Sydney Descharm at the scores table ready to check in will come in for Addison Humes Reagan Locke to take it in on the inbound baseline inbounds the box set a little cross action from the post players and then the feed to Addison right there on the short corner good up and under move takes a shot draws the foul will go to the free throw line for two good job that time staying patient keeping both feet on the floor shot fake Step through and then go up, draw the foul, and Aniston Allgood will go to the line shooting two here early in the second quarter. First shot up is no good off the front rim. Aniston obviously a great shooter. Just a little bit short on that one. We'll take her second attempt here now. 6.51 to go in the quarter, and that shot is pure for her seventh. And the lead now 10 to 6 for the Lady Eagles in a little full court. Now 2-2-1, two, two, full court trap. I'm gonna try to force the ball to the sideline, trap it, keep the ball out of the middle. There we go, now we're just falling back into a man-to-man -man look. A little token 2-2-1 two, two, full court look, back to man-to-man. -to -man. Penetration, try to get a pass off right there was number 12, Mia Johnson. 6.30 to go, second quarter. Dawson penetrates, McHenry kicking it back out to Montez. Oh, that shot blocked by Anna Pierce. Great position, great elevation, and a good finish on the block. Aniston Allgood on the transition bucket. Her ninth point of the 12 for the Lady Eagles, and it's 12-6 as we've doubled up the score and extended the lead, and that turnover again forced by the defense of Nashville Christian. So a great job. On the defensive end, staying aggressive, causing some, not confusion, maybe just panic on the DCA offensive set. Forced a lot of turnovers now against this 2-3. We're going to a, a high three-guard offense, which you want to get an odd note. That's Reagan Locke for three. Great shot, Reagan. Want that... That odd number up at the top of that 2-3 zone and forced that ball around the top. That time Reagan found herself open, was confident enough to take the shot and drained it. Man-to-man -man defense again, Sydney Descharm on the ball. 
Three-point shot from the Lady Wildcats. That was number 21 at Audrey Coulter, no good. Anna Pierce with the rebound. Pushing the ball into the front court now, the Lady Eagles. Same look, got a three guard, two post offense. Sydney Ducharme shot up, no good. And Aniston all good with the rebound, drive, penetrate, shot, no good. Gets her own rebound, goes up again and hits the shot. Good persistence by Aniston that time. Getting her own rebound, always want to follow your shot. That time worked out just right for her. 17 to six now the lead for the Lady Eagles. So we've extended it that time Montez. Sydney jumped the ball right there, kind of startled Montez. She tried to get the feed to Dawson and instead threw it out of bounds. So a good, so a good little spurt right here from the Lady Eagles extends the lead 17 to six. One three one now from DCA. Another zone look, but a one three one. Now we want to. Have a two guard look, ring and lock it again for three, no good. And a pierce there for the rebound and another tie ball situation gonna go to DCA. Now Humes checks in, gives Reagan Lock a break. So it'll be Humes, Johnson, Ducharme, all good, and Pierce. DCA quickly into the front court and the Lady Eagles fall back into their man to man. Spin penetration move, driving, kind of lost her. Oh, wow, kind of lost her balance and put the ball up. That was Mia Johnson. And she hit it, 17 to eight, first points of the quarter four. The Lady Wildcats, Anna now working the top of the free throw line and Aniston in the short corner. Hannah Johnson for three off the back rim, no good. That rebound is long. Aniston all good, hauls it in, goes up for the shot, draws the foul. Great hustle by Aniston to the loose ball, rebound. McHenry's gonna, be called. That's McHenry's first. DCA second of this quarter. Aniston all into the free throw line. That shot up and is good. Aniston's 12th point of the evening. And now her 13th. Extends the lead 18 to 9. Breaking a lot, checking back in, getting Hannah Johnson a little bit of rest. Going to pick up again. 2-2-1 two, two, look on the press, but always falls back into the man-to-man. -man. See if we try to trap it here. There's the reverse trying to get the trap. And a Pierce there for the outlet pass. And now, we've, again, caused a little bit of excitement on the DCA end. That shot was blocked by... Sydney Descharmes. I'm sure that blocked into the side of the goal. Sydney, yeah, Sydney blocked it, so it should be DCA's ball, and it will be. Good defensive hustle by Sid right there, getting a hand up on the ball. DCA with a baseline inbounds under their own basket. Screen the inbounder for the three-point shot, no good. Humes with the long rebound, pushing the ball down the floor. She got fouled, no call. Unfortunately there, it was not called, and now Hume's putting applying ball pressure for the Lady Eagles in this man-to-man. -man. Again, I think we, we create turnovers by this pressure man-to-man -man that we're applying here in the defensive half. Three minutes to go, just over three to go in the half, first half of the ball game, 19 to eight Lady Eagles. Coulter passes it back out to Montez, who takes the 16-footer and hits it. First bucket of the second quarter for Haley Montez. 19 to 10 now. The lead for the Lady Eagles, 245 left in the first half. Still a zone, still the one, three, one look. Aniston Allgood with a shot fake or a pass fake. Drive bucket was no good. Rebound, McHenry and the ball pushed into the front court. Shepard dribbling the ball out front. All good applying the defense. Shepard dropped, penetrate, shot up. Wow, that was just flung in the direction of the basket. 
but found its way into the hoop. So credit the bucket. Foul on Aniston Allgood. That's her first, team first of this quarter. But we'll send Shepard to the line with a chance to cut the lead to six. We throw up and good. 19-13, 2.15 left to go in the half. Hannah Johnson checks back in for Addison Humes. So Locke, Allgood, Johnson, Pierce, and Descharm in for the Lady Eagles. One, three, one, they, they found Pierce working those short corners, so they applied, excuse me, went to the one, three, one instead of the two, three, and now a tie ball situation gonna go back to the lady. It was a good job. Aniston Allgood getting her hands in there. Tying the ball up, gonna be a baseline inbounds. Reagan Locke to take the ball in. Stack look, Anna Pierce flares out for the perimeter inbound, swinging the ball around now of this zone. In the three second call. Still man to man. Whoa, that's a long. Oh, that ball hit the volleyball net that is affixed to the ceiling here at Nashville Christian. And that's just like throwing the ball out of bounds. So it's going to be Nashville Christian ball out at the timeline. So essentially a turnover there. Shepard tried to throw the ball all the way down the floor and put a little too much elevation on that one. 141 to go in the half. 19-13 still the lead for the Lady Eagles. Just under 90 seconds to go in the first half. Swinging the ball around the top of the zone. Now found it into the, to the elbow at Aniston, the short corner to Anna Pierce. Stay patient, Hannah Johnson for three from the corner, off the back rim, no good, rebound Reagan Lock. Oh, she tried to throw it while she was in the air and the ball slipped out of her hand and turned over to the Wildcats. Still man to man from the Lady Eagles. Good Sean with the takeaway, with the poke away steal. Can she chase it down? Yes. Oh, stepped out of bounds. Great hustle, great effort. Just under a minute now to go in the half, still 19-13 the lead. Pushing into the front court as the clock gets under a minute again in the first half. And the man-to-man -man pressure going to extend the offense. Coulter penetrates, dribble pass to McHenry, kick it out to Dawson. Her shot is good. Her first points of the night. Cut the lead to 19-15. 30 seconds to go in the half. See if we kind of try to just hold it out for a shot here, if we continue to just apply the offensive pressure. Well, Hannah's going to fire it up from three. No good off the back rim. Rebound DCA. And they're going to push into the front court. Deshaun with a reach-in foul. It's going to be the second foul of the quarter. I think that's Sydney's first. Fifteen seconds to go in the half. See if... DCA tries to hold it for the last shot. And the clock, clock didn't quite start. So we're gonna reset. Out of bounds in front of the bench of the home standing Lady Eagles. Shepard to inbound it for DCA. Overthrows everybody to the far sideline and now it's gonna be Lady Eagles ball. Those 13 seconds left and we have the ball. See if we can hold it for the last shot of the half. 19-15, that'll guarantee us the lead going into the half for sure. Maybe a chance to extend it. Gonna be Aniston all good out front. Everybody's gonna be forward across the baseline, give her a chance to go one on one. Six, five, four, Ducharme for three and it's good. Great job by Sydney Deshaun making herself available for the wide open three. Great look from Aniston Allgood. Unselfish play. The design was to have four down so Aniston could take one on one the defender and try, try to get a shot up. When she realized she couldn't, she kicked it over to Sydney for the 
clutch three-pointer to end the half and it's 22 to 15 Lady Eagles. We're going to take a break and then we'll come back soon with a few stats in the second half here from Nashville Christian.
Okay, welcome back. Or I guess welcome me back, you guys that have been watching. The halftime festivities. We had the Junior Eagles doing the little relay race, dribbling race to half court and back. If I'm not mistaken, the line closest to us was victorious. But fun to watch the kids run and play and have a good time. The Lady Eagles, speaking of running and playing and have a good time, are out to a 22 to 15 lead over district rival Donaldson Christian after one half of play. An exciting first half of action highlighted by a lot of forced turnovers by the Lady Eagle defense. Aniston Allgood leads all scores with, I believe, 13, if I have that correct. Sydney Deshaun with a big three to end the half. Hannah Johnson hit a three in the first quarter. Reagan Locke hit a three in the second quarter, and that's going to be the 22 points for the Lady Eagles for DCA. And Anaya Dawson has two. Haley Montez has four. Mia Johnson with two. Madison McHenry with four. And Bailey Shepard with three on a traditional three-point play. A made field goal and a free throw after the foul was called. So 29 seconds to go before we continue the action here on Sawyer Brown Road. This is Coach Jeff Brothers filling in, I suppose if you say that, for Coach McPherson, who is, I think, on his way. He just walked in the door, as a matter of fact. I mean, I no sooner said his name than he walked in. It was almost like I was introducing him to the gym because I said, here, waiting for Coach Mike McPherson, and lo and behold, here he is. Here, I'm just going to give you my headset, Coach, here. They're not working. Wait, you keep it going until I get oriented here. <laughs> Coach McPherson claims to be disoriented. Wait for his special headset. Anadia Hinton re-enters the game after two fouls in the first quarter with an immediate steal. Makes her presence known as she gets the transition steal layup. 24 to 15 now, Lady Eagles. Coach McPherson, welcome back. As you get settled, I'll continue the... Yes, let me get my bearings. The uh, head screwed on here. I think... Three-point attempt from Audrey Coulter. No good for the Lady Wildcats. And rebound transition into the front court by National Christian. It's Reagan Locke, Hannah Johnson, Anadia Hinton. That's Aniston Allgood taking that shot, and then Anna Pierce running out the five. Rebound by Nadia Hinton goes strong to the basket for her fourth point, extending the lead back to nine points, 26-19, 26-15, excuse me, so 11 points. I can do math. Here early in the second half, still the man-to-man -man pressure applied by the Lady Eagles. Long three-point shot that time off the backboard. No good. That was Coulter. Rebound to Hinton, who tried to stay in bounds, wound up turning the ball over back to Donaldson Christian. Coulter again for three. A little closer, but no closer to making the bucket. Tapped away by Anna Pierce, and then long rebound finally gathered in by Anadi Hinton ahead to Aniston Allgood, whose shot is off no good. McHenry with the rebound. So the pace just as quick to start the second half as it was to end the first half. Still the pressure man-to-man -man applied by the Lady Eagles. It's forcing some errant passes. And another block by Anna Pierce, Coach. I think that's her fourth block of the night, if my count is correct. Ahead to Hannah Johnson into the front court and a reach-in foul by number two. That's Anaya Dawson from DCA. Well, welcome in, Coach. Well, Coach, I'm uh, enjoying relaxing here. Uh, yeah, you, you just relax. Okay. And then I'll run out of breath and you can have it. I appreciate it. Go ahead. Another 2-3 zone look. It's been a zone all the way through for DCA, trying to trap here on the extended elbow. Hannah dribbled out of it, and then Reagan threw the ball away, trying to swing it to Anadia. That's going to be Shepard. Nice European with the steal, there. And then he had a little bit of a Euro step for the bucket. First shot, or excuse me, first points of the half for DCA. Still the 2-3 zone. A little more aggressive this half, trying to trap the ball out of the 2-3. They were kind of, sit, kind of sagging back in the 2-3, letting us swing the ball around. We were feeding the high post and then getting a high low look to the opposite block. And now they're a little more trap style 2 3 zone. That's a naughty hint for three off the inbound pass. Um, no good. Anson Augur with the rebound, puts the shot up, no good. Gets her own rebound, draws the foul. 
Santa Nadia's first miss of the half. That's going to be Madison McHenry. Did he say that's her third? I had it as her second. It might be her third. I think I might have missed one. Aniston Allgood free throw is good. Coach Aniston is leading all scores. I think that's her 14th point of the 27. Got a good crowd here on a very uh, cool night. A lot of precipitation out there, Coach. Well, still of the rain version, right? I think yes. anybody would love to see a little bit of the frozen yeah. precip, but that looks like next week will be the case. We've applied this little one-two-two trap again and forced a turnover in the first half. Not so this way, but still creating a little bit of a frantic pace from Donaldson Christian in the front court. And now we're falling back into our man-to-man. -man. Help side from Anadia, no, uh, shot no good. Rebound, Aniston all good. Pressing into the front court. Oh, dribbled off her leg there, but gathered it back together. Penetration shot no good. Anna Pierce with the rebound, get a hold of it there. Anna's got the strength to hang on right there and force the tie ball, which is going to be Lady Eagles basketball. When did uh, DCA go to the Pittsburgh Steeler color look here? You know, uh, Coach, black and here's gold. the thing. If black's not your color, don't wear black. That's that's my thing. I, it's that, always I, yeah, been my it, thing. At least go with a, a gray or yeah. a light. I don't know. It uh, doesn't look like DCA, DCA at all. Royal and gold is the DCA, the yellow gold, the DCA colors. And I looked down at the cheerleaders know. to see if they had changed color down there. They look like regular DCA, so very interesting. Foul number two, Dawson. That's her second foul. Team's fourth of the third quarter. Anadia Hinton to the line, shooting two and hits the first. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big opponent of black, even as a trim color, if it's not one of your yeah, colors. I don't right. understand it. And this is from a Vanderbilt guy who adores the colors yeah. black and gold. Yeah. <laughs> Vanderbilt's always been black and gold, but they do change uniforms quite often. They do. Well, we got to change something up a little bit. Yeah. Still man-to-man -man from the Lady Eagles. DCA has had some trouble hanging on to the ball in these situations. That shot up is no good. That was Coulter with the shot and tapped away, and Nadia Hinton. Oh, my. Oh, wow. What an athletic move from Anadia right there. Nice just, Euro and should have been an and one. Having fun playing basketball. That's Anadia. Here's another steal. Oh, almost. You almost got there anticipating that pass to the center court. That time, DCA works the ball into the corner for a three-point shot from Coulter, and it's good. 31-20. The margin now here with four minutes to go. So we're halfway through the third quarter. Got to protect the ball here. Got three on one right here. Got to find the open player. Get the ball to her. Skip pass over to Reagan Locke. Thought about a three. Pulled it down and it was fat. Well, she was kind of corralled by Dawson and forced to travel. I did not see the pivot foot lift. That was a little bit. If you ever watch wrestling, that was sort of a hip toss. <laughs> Not professional wrestling, of course. <laughs> yes. That's a whole different kind of thing. New movie out called, real, the, real wrestling. called The Iron Claw. Have you mm -hmm. seen that, Coach? No, I haven't. Yeah. That's Shepard up for two again for the DCA Lady Wildcats. Nice on back the, door. On the post feed there. And a 1-3-1. One, one. So they've gone back and forth from this 2-3 to this 1-3-1. One, one. we got a timeout from Coach Venata. It's been zoned all the way for DCA's defense. It's just been a blend of the 2-3 and the 1-3-1. One, one. We've done a good job of rotating the ball around and getting some good looks. It's a 31-22 lead here in the third quarter, Coach. All right. Well, um, got boys action coming up after this, and always uh, exciting to have our, our crosstown rivals come, across, uh, come into the gym. And it's uh, not a bad crowd for a really uh, – rough weather night out there so not sure how many we've got on the uh so how many viewers mr andrew will check and see how many we've got 21 all right not too many but the 21 that are out there uh you are while we are on the air and while we are more, paid the, more, more points than the listeners right now but hey that's okay <laughs> While we were Hopefully paid the change. exorbitant so, salary. So while they're listening, so the Iron Claw coach, you remember the Von yeah. Erich brothers? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, there's a movie about their family <laughs> in wrestling. It's called the Iron Claw. You remember the Iron Claw? I'm going to, to that. They used to, you know, apply it to the heart area of the chest and put the, <laughs> put the opponent to sleep. Yeah. Could have killed them, but. 
lock downtown, no good. Reagan three pointer, no, Reagan lock, no three pointer, no good. I guess we should call this action, not the wrestling. <laughs> 31-22, three minutes to go in the third quarter. Oh, Whoa. I think she took about six steps to get the shot off, and they're going to call a foul. Looks like on the Nadia, that's going to be her third, Coach. That's unfortunate. She's been playing good. That was a 360, but it was a 360 pivot, which is illegal in this league or in this yeah, sport. The, the double pivot 360. Yeah. Um, that was not on a shot. That was on the floor. Yep. Nobody was shooting. Uh, I think that's what Coach Van Atta is questioning now. No, no, no. Well, they're going to say she was shooting. Yeah, gonna... she's getting two. Well, as they say on the T-shirt, Coach Ball don't lie, and the first free throw is off. I never felt that way during the game, though. I never seemed to lie quite a bit in my <laughs> experience. First shot was no good by Dawson. She'll take her second attempt. Nadia substituted out now with three fouls. Going to try to get her to the fourth quarter. Dawson's second free throw attempt was good. Nice left hand. That's her third point of the night. Back to eight. And a Pierce on the low post feed. Kick it out to Hannah Johnson for three. Her shot off the back rim, no good. Rebound, DCA's Mia Johnson. So man-to-man -man again from the Lady Eagles as DCA pushes across the timeline. Montez has gone the whole way as the point guard for the Wildcats and Dawson as well. They haven't made many substitutions in this game. Dawson's left-handed free throw, no good. Anna Pierce kind of scrambling for the rebound, finally corralled it, and a foul is going to be called on Mia Johnson. If Dawson had jump stopped, I think she'd have had an easy basket. That was a tough coach, running left-hander there. Don't, don't coach the other team, coach. <laughs> That's five fouls. That is a two-shot foul now. No. Yeah, here we go on the new. The, the new rule this year. Is this a test? year or are they going to it I don't style? know it's uh, kind of like when the World Football League started now it's just new stuff speaking of the World Football League the XFL and USFL are merging they have combined this spring eight teams co-joined Anna Pierce first free throw is good I guess we should talk about our game Pierce but, Pierce but the I think that's Anna's first points coach Love remarkably it. she's usually one of our leading scorers They've kept her kind of quiet, but she finds her way to the line, hits the first one, misses the second one. Yeah, the XFL, USFL, four teams from each of the former leagues forming a new UFL, it's called. Maybe we can. Uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, another wrestling reference, <laughs> leading that league. Maybe the Titans can recruit some there. Got to have a coach first, which we don't yep. have at the time. That foul is going to be on Reagan Locke. Disharm to check in, the freshman. I think that's her first. Uh, coach Sidney hit a. Huge three-pointer right as the first half expired. Yeah, she was mad at me for not being here on time for the game. Had several girls letting me know their displeasure with me putting my grandson's game above theirs. Coach, is that the first time that you've no, my... let the girls down in your life? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and continued into my marriage. <laughs> Two, two minutes to go in the third quarter. Montez still handling the ball for the Lady Wildcats. And they're black and gold. That's 23 Shepard with a couple of pivots and then kicks the ball out I to Sanders. Say Terry Bradshaw with the ball out top. Franco Harris Addison driving. Hughes, that's going to be a foul on Humes. A little frustrating when the, when the offensive player is doing some heavy leaning into the defender initiating that contact and drawing that foul, but that foul is going to be indeed on Addison Humes. I think that's her second, maybe her first. Really a no call there. Shepard with the ball for DCA. Still the man. Now, now we've got well, a we've long 3-2. A 3-2 uh, trap. A three -two trap. Good job by Aniston Allgood coming around McHenry and poking the ball away for the steal. And now penetrating pull-up jump shot from about oh. what, 8 feet, 12 feet. Coach is good. Pistol Pete pull-up. I watched Pistol Pete's documentary the other night, Coach. Really enjoyed that. He's one of my favorites. I liked him. I was a closet fan because you weren't supposed to pull for him unless you are from LSU, and I loved him, but no, I didn't tell anybody. Did you wear your socks down? I did. Like, I, like loved, I loved the way he wore them. Ball at the high post. That's Coulter again. Drive, penetrate. Or excuse me, Shepard penetrates. Shot no good. Anderson all good. Falling down and gets the ball over to Anna Pierce. Taken away by Dawson. 
Back to Shepard for three off the rim, no good. Deshaun fighting with the rebound, doesn't get it. Hannah's trying to chase it down, and it's going to be white ball. Sanders takes a seat for DCA and Coulter checking back in. Desharm, Humes, Johnson, all good. And Pierce for the Lady Eagles. That ball's taken away with the pressure from DCA. And then that's going to be Shepard's layup. No good. Rebound up and good by Coulter. They can't quite get it past that nine point mark. That was a good chance there to get, get back into the game before, not that they're totally out of it, but before the fourth quarter begins. Well, we, we've had a you know, a three or four shot lead most of the game since about midway of the first quarter. Yeah, they're missing some big uh, big shots to that they could have carved into this and gotten into a low single-digit game. The Their defensive pressure has changed uh, coming out of the half and has forced more turnovers on our end. Both those free throws off, so that was fortunate for us and Pierce with the long rebound. See if they come with this attacking trap. Here we go, though. It looks like a... Kind of a, a loose 2 3 right here, but it looks like they're going to trap somebody. 25 seconds to go in the quarter. We're going to try to get the last shot. Trapping Reagan out front. Hannah Johnson feeds Aniston on the baseline, and she gets she pushed, pushed out of bounds. Right out of bounds. Yeah, yeah. They, they called it. Good call. She stepped on the baseline. I was worried he was going to call that, but she stepped on the baseline because McHenry hip checked her into the baseline. You know me, I'd prefer to throw it back out and eat down to the last second shot, but. Because I hate to give the other team a chance when we have the ball when it's winding down, but Anderson made a good move. Anderson's first free throw off the front rim, no good. McHenry takes a seat, and Mia Johnson checks back in for DCA. Anderson all good, going to take the second free throw. Coach Venata gets our troops all the way back into the backcourt. Anderson second shot, no good. She's hustling for the rebound, almost got it. Unfortunate to come away with no points on that possession. 12 seconds. Man, still 1-2-2 two, two from the Lady Eagles. DCA skips the ball across to Montez to Shepard for three. That's off the backboard, no good. Johnson with the rebound goes up at the, at the horn, no good. So neither team taking advantage of the yep. possession to end the quarter there. And the lead's still 34-23, so still at 11 points. Lady Eagles over Lady Wildcats as we head into the fourth quarter. All right, welcome back. As we enter the fourth quarter to the sounds of Sweet Caroline, yep. a, a Nashville Christian tradition. <laughs> At the end of the third quarter, both football and basketball games, the Lady Eagles lead 34-23 in a game that's been about like this since midway through the first quarter, sort of back and forth. We've been out in front, not able to pull away and extend, but they haven't been able to cut into it either. Wildcats with the ball to start the final stanza, 1-2-2 trap from Nashville Christian. Like to see Hannah come trap that a little higher. Skip pass down in the corner. Trying to move the ball around the zone. Good job swinging the ball and should have gone up with the shot. Johnson, Anna Pierce elevated to block it and Johnson kind of panicked and threw the ball down the baseline to nobody. Yeah, DCA hasn't quite had the maturity to, to you know, we've, we've given them chances to get this thing down and they're not taking advantage of it. Good job by Reagan looking down the floor to Hannah. And a Pierce good cross diagonal pass to the block to Anadia, but it was the shot was blocked by Shepard. So good job getting the ball down the floor, but another turnover. It's kind of been the tale of turnovers for both teams. Very low scoring. Still man-to-man -man from the Lady Eagles. 
And that ball again turned. You know, coach, I would I haven't been able to keep up with it myself, but I would right. say more turnovers than made shots probably for both teams at this point. It is. Uh, this is this was like a half time 17, score. but I, I bet we've got double digit turnovers. I know they do. And they've only hit, you know, maybe seven or eight field goals. That three pointer from Hannah Johnson is good. That's timely right there, coach. Downtown. And now full court kind of picking up the loose token man to man. Hannah Johnson guarding the ball. It's Montez coming down the floor, leans in over to. 21 Coulter for three, and that shot was good. good Answering shot. Hannah Johnson's three, so still 11 points. No time to panic. Aniston all good with the ball now at the top of the key. Spins out. Got to be careful with those passes. Anadia for three from in front of the student section, and it's good. Bottom. Coach Anadia has hit some clutch shots here this second half. Nice follow through. She got in some foul trouble early in the first quarter, had to come out without scoring. Started the second half with a flurry, scoring seven points in the third quarter until she had to come out again after picking up her third foul. Starts the fourth quarter again with a big, big shot. So if she can stay in and out of foul trouble, she's been a tremendous offensive weapon for us tonight. If we just play decent down the down the uh, line here, I don't so see how DCA can come back. Well, I don't think they have the firepower to do that. Yeah, I think you're right. And the thing we have to do is just take care of the ball. Just make sure every possession ends at least with a shot, whether you make it or miss it. You got to get a shot out of the possession so that you're not just turning the ball over. Well, boys action, ready to go in a few minutes. And um, yeah, I'm not sure how uh, DCA's boys team has been doing this year. Coach, did you look that up? No, they, uh, they have, they're kind of doing like us. This should be a good game. You know, both both teams kind of struggling a little bit. With, so. with consistency. I've seen us play good basketball yeah. against good teams and win games. And then sometimes we just um, kind of lose our way a little bit and lose the consistency that we've needed. To right. Those seasons are frustrating because you know you can play pretty good for a little bit. You just can't keep it up. Extending our Almost, it, yeah, and looks almost like a box in one the way yeah. we're doing that. But the shot up and no good. Aniston all good with the rebound in the front court. Another brick DCA there. DCA really trying to trap the ball and force a turnover. And a foul is going to be called, I think, on Dawson for the Wildcats. So we start all over with the fouls there. Four more before we shoot on non shooting fouls. I think that's Dawson's fourth, they say. Yeah, it's interesting that they start over. Because if they didn't, we'd be shooting in the bonus right now. Yeah, you know? so that's kind of a it's bizarre. I think. I'm not sure how I feel about it. So a one three one trap again from DCA trying to force a bad pass and get some transition looks. We just got to do a good job of be smart and not do that. And weren't smart there. Greg and hustling back and getting her hands on the ball, and now it's going to force another tie ball situation, which is going to be possession to Nashville Christian. So. Yeah, we just got to take care of it. Just be smart with it. They'll start fouling at some point. Now there's five and a half to go. They're not going to start fouling now. They're extending three quarters. Need to get the ball to the middle without throwing it. There's the attempt, but didn't see. <laughs> Man. I, I think I spoke it into existence, Coach. Yep. I don't need to do that anymore. Just need to watch. Uh, this is uh, Coach Fennett's well, point of high frustration right now. Well, and he's going to make that emphasis, you know, be, be, see the open player before you let the ball go. Don't telegraph it. Don't wait too long, but you can't just throw it and then decide if she was open or not. Traps should never work, but they do because people panic. In every trap, somebody's open. And, you know, yeah, there's two on one, so clearly they can't guard the other four people with three defenders. But I like to see us, especially in that three-quarter court trap, to reverse the ball around, almost like, like, like they do. I'm not a soccer guy by yeah. any stretch, but I like how they reverse the ball around to make the defense rotate and create some leverage. DCA has done that a few times. They just can't finish. Uh, they have swung it around a couple of times and come in the backside, but couldn't get it to go to get back in the game. So it's 14 point lead with 529. They're, they're in a heap of trouble right now. It's gonna be Anna Pierce inbounding in front of our bench. Still Pierce, all good. Reagan Locke, Hannah Johnson, and Anadia Hinton. There's Anadia for three. Oh, I thought she was going to pull it right there. Drill another Euro <laughs> step. No good. Anna Pierce taps the ball, but out of bounds. It's DCA. I tell you, Anadia's got great athletic balance. 
She does. When she has the ball in her possession. Good athlete. And good awareness, spatial awareness on the floor. We're man-to-man -man full court. Dawson dribbling past Lock and Anna Pierce again, great hands. Taps it away, finds a Nadia coming down the floor. We don't have to force the issue here. Again, DCA's had many opportunities. Let's give from Reagan, she traveled. She stepped into it and then stepped into it again. DCA just cannot capitalize on our turnovers or missed shots. Well, and, and likewise, we're... Yeah, we haven't pulled away. This, a, this game could either be a blowout for us or a tight one going down, down the wire. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But as it is, it's 40 to 26 with just under five minutes to play in the fourth quarter here against DCA. That was Coulter, dribble penetration, puts a shot up. I don't know that she was even trying to make the shot. She yeah. was trying to draw the foul and did so. And that foul is going to be on number 20, which is Reagan Lott, her third. Team's first of this quarter, but it was a shooting violation, so it's going to send Audrey Coulter to the line. First shot is up and good. Her seventh point, she had two three-pointers, both in the second half, and now that free throw. Second free throw up, also good, 40 to 28. The lead is at 12 with just under five to play. Quick substitution as DCA sets the defense. Going to be the 1-3-1 one, one again here in the front court. They're still in it, but they've got to make a couple of uh, turnovers and baskets here to have a chance. Look for the trap. There's a good diagonal pass to Hannah Johnson. Left-handed layup too strong. Rebound out in front, and Anadia dribbled it off of her shoe. Reagan Locke tried to get to the loose ball and wound up fouling instead. That's going to be, I think, Reagan's fourth. Yep. So again, DCA has a chance they can get it to 10 here. So we're going to get a substitution. Sydney's going to come in for Reagan. Chance to get it to 10, as you mentioned, maybe even under 10 if they hit a three. But we certainly want to prevent that. This is one, two, two look again, sort of really a man to man ish type look, but a one, two, two at the top, chasing the ball around. Big Forcing the ball inside. out wide. Yeah, one pops out and to the McHenry's corner. looking to position herself on Anna Pierce. That shot up no good. Anna tried to block it, didn't quite get it, but did affect the trajectory of the shot. And Aniston Allgood comes away with the rebound into the front court for the Lady Eagles. There's Hannah again for three right here in front of us. That's a shot she's made tonight, but missed that one off the back rim. Rebound to DCA. Oh. Well, that was a foul, but... No call. It was a loose ball. Shepard was frustrated, fouled Anna Pierce. But Anna had the strength and athleticism to hang on to the possession. Aniston throws it to Anadia, who throws it to Sydney Deshaun, who's in trouble. At the, and they're going to tie her up. At the tie, they're going to say a tie ball, which is going to be possession DCA. With 3.38 to go, 40 to 28, still a 12-point 12 12. lead. Yeah, they, can't, they can't get it under the, the double digits. Well, that's fine by me. Yeah, they're they're uh, they're in, they're in a lot of trouble right now. One and two two, again in the half court for the Lady Eagles. The skip pass all the way across to Montez, and then swinging it down to the corner. And they're trying to rotate it and then feed the post. It's happened a couple times, as you mentioned. They're just unable to capitalize right. on that. McHenry that time unable to hang on as Anna Pierce taps it out of bounds. And now Reagan going to check back in. Three twenty nine to go. Four fouls. Probably better to have her on the floor, regardless of how how it ends up with her in terms of her foul situation because she is a good defender and she takes care of the ball well on offense for the most part. So 329 to go, Coach, 40 to 28. It's been a steady game in that they're not able to break into the lead. We're not able to extend the lead. It's been a uh, – the flow of this game since I've been here at halftime has created a little bit of a sedative crowd <laughs> that's had trouble to get into it because there's not been a lot of rhythm so far. Thing, a little helter skelter out of kilter well i think it was if i recall i think we had 22 at the half and we have 40 now so we have scored 18 but it's it almost seemed to come a lot in the yeah. third quarter we only scored six here in the fourth definitely so, a struggle with both both groups and, you know and we haven't as we mentioned as i mentioned before we haven't ended our possessions with shots it's mm -hmm. been a lot of turnovers and we need right. to make sure that we give ourselves a chance to score on every possession, whether it goes in or not, and then maybe we get a second chance shot with a rebound. Baseline inbounds from DCA. It's going to be Shepard to Montez, and now Johnson with a three-pointer no good. Excuse me, that was Coulter's three-pointer that was no good. 
Still can't get it under 10. Anston dribbles into the front court, and gets the ball to Anna out at the top, and I think we're going to start getting a little bit of this, which is foul, and see what we do with it. That Johns Coulter's second foul. And only two fouls in the quarter, so they're going to have to foul a little bit just so they can get to the point where we have to get to the free throw line. Although we've shown the propensity to just turn the ball over. Yes. We've got to be better about that. Reagan dribbles into the front court, finds Aniston with a bounce pass. That's a better pass, that bounce pass to the high post into the center of that zone. You've got to be careful that they're anti not anticipating. Great pass by Anna Pierce to Aniston Allgood for two. I think we're doing the right thing, Coach, to get the ball to the center of that zone, but you got to look for the... the, the the sniper who's kind of just baiting you into that pass mm -hmm. and trying to jump it. But we scored. 42-28 and Aniston all good now with a steal again. A turnover. 242 to go in the game. And now we can be really patient, force them to foul, be ready to hit free throws, just continue to move the ball around smartly. They pass fakes. Bounce pass. There it goes. A good bounce pass. Got Anadia. There's Anadia on the far block. Good job by Aniston all good to find her. And Anadia hits the layup. For two. That should be the fork in it. And that's 44 to 28. 16. They're going to be, I think, going to be hard for them to score yep. 16 here in the last couple of minutes based on their scoring. And a, a flurry would have to, no pun intended with the precipitation yeah. outside, but a flurry of points would be necessary. And I just don't know if they have that scorer. I don't scorer. think so. They're not, they're not a bad team. No. They just, uh, They've had trouble getting the basket, yeah. getting the ball in the basket. As have we. It's been sort of a, an think, evenly played game. We've just had the lead, and it's just yeah. kind of stayed that way. Yeah, I think we're a little bit better than them, and that has showed that we've played really poorly and have a, a substantial lead here. 2.22 to go in the fourth quarter. The Lady Eagles lead the Lady Wildcats here on a Tuesday of January at Nashville Christian School Elementary yep. Night. Coach, you missed the dribble All relay right. at halftime of the girls' game. It's fun to watch those kids run around. Ellis Drake, fourth grader, as an assistant coach on the bench tonight, Coach, helping Coach Venata. All right. So with 2.22 to go, it's going to be Lady Eagle, uh, excuse me, it's going to be the Wildcats basketball under the Lady Eagles basket. Going to have to go the length of the floor. 44 to 28. Two fouls apiece in the fourth quarter. That sets the stage for the end that is coming. Now back to man-to-man -to -man defense from Nashville Christian. Trying to get some off-the-ball screens to create some openings. And that found McHenry down low, turnaround jump shot no good, gets her own rebound, passes the ball back out to Shepard, whose three is no good, Anna Pierce gathers that one in. And now with under two to go, the Lady Eagles have the lead and the basketball. Aniston Allgood steps through the trap, and now we're just going to be spread out and throwing the ball around. We've got to be smart with the ball. And Nadia skip pass to Hannah Johnson. Now we're just playing keep away. Important that we actually keep it away. Foul that time going to be on Coulter. I think that's going to be her third, but only the team third. Under 90 seconds to go now in the game. A comfortable 16-point lead for the Lady Eagles. See how we finish this one up. Imagine we'll be shooting free throws here at some point. Maybe not. I think they're just going to keep applying pressure and trying to force turnovers. And we're spread around. Reagan Locke, Aniston Allgood, Anna Pierce, Hannah Johnson, and Nadia Hinton. And we're skipping the ball around, which is good. Just be smart with it. Good strong passes, good strong catches. 102, 101, one minute to go in the contest. And I think they're not going to foul. I think they're just going to see if we'll turn it over to them. Otherwise, we'll finish this out with about a 15 or 16 point lead. And just as I say that, we almost turned it over, but gathered back in by Anna Pierce, Reagan down to Anadia in the corner. Good job skipping the ball around. Not letting the defense get the full trap in effect. I think they're gonna be content to just let us have it. And that's a fourth foul on 
DCA. I don't think she was trying to foul even that one. That was Mia Johnson. Her third foul, four. So one more foul will put us to the line. I'm not sure that's what they want to do at this point. Tap away by Johnson, gathered back in by Aniston. All good. Errant pass by Reagan Johnson that time, and then she commences to foul. But that's okay, because it's only our third team foul, and it was in the backcourt. 15 seconds to go. This one's going to wind down, and we're going to maintain the lead. That's Reagan's fifth foul. So she is going to watch the rest of it from the seats. Sydney Descharm checks back in. 12, 11, 10 seconds now to go in the game. DCA in the front court against this man-to-man. -man. Shepard's penetration, bounce pass to McHenry, no shot. Back to Shepard, three-point shot up, no good off the front rim. It's 44-28 final. The Lady Eagles victorious in an important district game as we get into district play here in the, the early days of 2024. Good to see us win that one. Um, comfortably, even though we ne didn't necessarily play our best, we did enough to have a comfortable win. Good job by Coach Venata, Coach Katie Beth Allen, Coach Mariah King, and Coach Ellis Drake. We're going to take a little bit of a break now with the boys' action to come here in about 10 or 12 minutes. And uh, we'll be back at you very soon. <laughs> 